hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been um we are going to look at um, a very simple or let's say a short question on um, geometric geodesy first off i want to appreciate my resource persons so we are allow shake by lali con the nigrographer Olalikan as well. They actually guided in um, coming up with this solution. Now they say that um, the question is um, assuming a circular earth, assuming a circular earth, determine the distance along the equator if it obtains an angle of um, 15 degrees 20 minutes 30 seconds at the center of the earth. Then we should take the radius of the earth to be as it is given in kilometers. 6378137 kilometers. So the attempt here is that um, given the question or given in the question rather, we have the radius and the angles obtained and then we are to determine what the arc length, let's say, along the equator as it has been stated. Now the first thing we need to remember here is that um, in our elementary trigonometry or let's say, yeah, we were able to establish this fact that um, one degree is equal to um, pi over 180 radians, right? And then that means 180 degrees or something is equal to the pi radian. You can actually get some of these things on your calculator. Now, the next thing is um, also remember that um, using the elementary formula for angles obtained by um, by a circle or something you remember um, we have something like theta over 360 or something so now the length there will now be theta over 360 times um, 2 pi r which means by the time the 2 you know we have um, a 2 here yeah? by the time this 2 crosses 360 we have 1 8 left right because 2 cancelling and then 2 cancelling 360 we have 180 left which means we can rewrite our formula as what l equal to the angle over 180 times pi r because the two has been crossed which means we can still rewrite it as what instead of having the 180 as a denominator of the angle yeah we can have the 180 as the denominator of the pi so that it can look like what we have here right so that it can look like what we have here so we can rewrite that as what theta times pi over 180 times the radius now the theta there is actually in degrees then we now come down to say when we substitute this remember that this um, theta over 180 we've actually seen it here as what theta over 180 in radians so when we now substitute this theta over 180 in radians we have here into this particular expression we can now say into this particular expression we can now say instead of having theta over 180 we will just have what pi because it is now in radians remember this radians we have here so that's why the theta here is what is also in radians so it's just the simple um let's say um change of state or stuff like that from degrees to radians right so instead of just rewriting the the theta sorry the pi over 180 we have we have taken the pi over 180 which is what we already have here pi over 180 radians to substitute here so instead of having the theta times pi over 180 times arrow we now have instead of the pi over 180 we now have the theta times arrow but now the theta is what in radians because when we want to determine the arc length our angle must be in what in radians right when we want to determine the arc length our angle must be in radians so having established those facts let's now see what we have we need to now convert the what the angle we have in degree minutes and seconds or let's say in degrees to what to radians so by applying this formula or let's say this expression we have here already which is m um, one degrees equal to um, theta over 180 radians so we have something like maybe 15 20 30 degree minutes and seconds times the pi over 180 so when you do that on your calculator you should have something like 0 0.2677777 so we actually approximated it to what 0 point um, 
two six seven eight radians so having established our angle in radians we can now substitute into the formula and the formula we are using is what this last expression we have here which is l equal to what um, theta times r so we now have that our theta in radians times what times the radius that was given to us so by the time you carry out the calculation you should be able to come up with what 1708065.089 in kilometers right so that is actually the what the arc distance or let's say the arc length along the equator as it subtends that angle of what 15 degrees 20 minutes 30 seconds so um this is just like um, a sketch indicating the the radius of the earth the angle subtended and then let's say by extension the arc length we want to determine so yeah thanks for coming to class um, we hope we have actually provided solution to this particular solving um, problem in um, geometric geodesy if you have um, any question or contribution you can always um, contact us or you um, engage us on the comment section you can always support the channel thanks for always um, checking up on us if you are a returning viewer and then if you are a new viewer support us by subscribing to the channel and again you can still support the channel you can check um, the description section of this video or the channel description for the details on how to support us so until we see you on our next video keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time bye